God says there is a single mother who has two children and you are feeling stressed out and praying to God for help. He says he is there, he has never left your side. And there is help on its way in the most unexpected way. He's saying hold on a wee bit longer and trust him. God says someone there's someone in a new job who is feeling overwhelmed and trying to regret it all and thinking they should quit. God says don't. He needs you in that job and he will help you. You will soon get notice for some abilities he has placed in you. And over time, those abilities will get you promoted. God says someone has no food and hasn't been able to eat. God says there is someone who is going to buy you groceries. And that person will help you find a way to get weekly food. Now, I have a lot of scripture for this word. So if you hold on, then we can get through it. John sixteen twenty seven. No, the Father himself loves you because you have loved me and have believed that I have come from God. Jude one twenty one. Keep yourselves in God's love as you wait for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ to bring you to eternal life. Psalm one hundred nine twenty six. Help me, Lord my God, save me according to your unfailing love. Romans five eight. But God demonstrates his own love for us. This while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. 1 Corinthians 13.13 13, And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. 1 John 4, 9 and 10 This is how God showed us his love. Among us he sent his one and only Son into the world that we may live through him. This love is not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Zephaniah 3.17 The Lord your God is with you, the mighty warrior who saves. He will take great delight in his love. He will no longer rebuke you, but rejoice over you with singing. 1 John 3.1 I see what great love the Father has lavished on you. That we should be called children of God, and that we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. First John 4, 7 Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Romans 5, 5 And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts, through the Holy Spirit who has been given unto us. First John 4, 8 Whoever does not love does not know God, because God is love. First John 4, 16 And so we know and rely on the love God has for us. God is love. Whoever lives in love lives in God, and God in them. First John 4, 18 there is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear, because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made in perfect love. First John 4.19 We love because he loved us first. Jeremiah 3.13 The Lord appeared to us in the past, saying, I have loved you with an everlasting love. I have drawn you with an unfailing kindness. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have, a, have eternal life. John 15.13 The greatest love has no one than to lay down one's life for one's friend. Psalm 86.15 But you, Lord, are a compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness. Psalm 136.26 Give thanks to, to God, his love endures forever. Ephesians 2, 4 and 5 But because of his great love for us, God who is rich in mercy made us alive with Christ even when we were dead in transgressions. It is by grace you have been saved. 2 Thessalonians 3, 5 May the Lord direct your hearts into God's love. In Christ's perseverance. 
John fifteen nine. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Now remain in my love. Ephesians three seventeen to nineteen. So that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, and I pray that being rooted and established in love, may have power together with the, all the Lord's people. Grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love for of Christ, and know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. John 15.12 My command is to love each other as I have loved you. Psalm 63.3 Because your love is better than love, my lips will glorify you. Lamentations three twenty two twenty three Because of the Lord's great love we are not consumed for his compassions. Never fail, they are new every morning, great is your faithfulness. My dearest children, don't listen to the enemy when he says you can't be loved or that you aren't loved by me. Just send him off in the name of my son. The enemy is jealous of how much love I have for each one of you, and it is unmeasurable. I have loved you from the first day I created you, and that has never ended and never will. If you are feeling doubtful of my love, just come to me in prayer and I can show you how much I love you and I will deal with the enemy. Trust me, I will never stop loving you, not now, not ever. With love, Daddy God, peace be with you. Thank you, God, for placing this video in front of those who need to see it. If you feel led to sow into this ministry, click the link in the description box below. I am taking orders for personal prophetic words. Email me at desertrose6655 at gmail.com. Not every prophetic word is to you, but if you feel it is, take the Lord for guidance. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more encouraging words from your loving Father, the Creator, and Almighty God. Thank you.